subscribe yet, please, please, I'm begging you, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like our videos, and then also, man, comment, comment. If you have any suggestion uh, how we can improve our videos, please, please comment or just, just shoot, or shoot me an email. You know, I would truly appreciate that, okay? All right, so today, we're going to be talking about wheelchairs, all right? We're going to focus on our regular wheelchair. So these are all wheelchairs over here. These are the um, regular wheelchair that we normally use, all right? There are different kinds of wheelchairs. When you go to the hospital, you might see something different. Or even when you go to all our assisted living or skilled nursing facility, you might see something a little bit different. But what you will see in almost all of the skilled nursing um, uh, facilities, you will see something like this. Something like this or something like this. Alright, so these are regular wheelchairs. So this one over here is uh, uh, it's really made for a small size person and this one over here is made for a uh, bariatric, somebody who is a little bit big. So this one is made for them. Alright, and then this one over here is a specialized wheelchair. So this one is a specialized wheelchair. What I'm going to do is that I will talk more in details about this specialized wheelchair maybe in my next video. But for today, we're going to focus on these two regular wheelchairs. So this one and this one, it's the same thing. The only difference is the size, all right? And then this one over here, this is a um, um, geriatric wheelchair, all right? So in, the, in all the facilities, or mainly the hospital, they call this type of wheelchair a stretcher chair, stretcher because it kind of like goes out, all right? As you can see, it goes out. So they call it stretcher wheelchair, all right? But for here, we call it geriatric which, uh, wheelchair, all right? So now, my focus for the day. My focus for the day is this wheelchair here and this one over here, all right? So these wheelchairs, they come in different sizes depending on the patient. So, like for me now, this wheelchair over here is going to be a little bit smaller for me. It's a little bit smaller for me, but I can manage it. All right, I can manage it. It's, it's just a little bit smaller for me. And then also, um, the height of it, okay, the back, is too, it's too low for me. So, somebody like me now, a wheelchair, this type of wheelchair, uh, they will order something for me a little bit bigger than this, and then also the back will be a little bit higher for me because I'm very tall. But how to use this wheelchair? Normally, when you get this wheelchair, it will come in the box. It won't be assembled. You have to assemble it like the wheel. You got to put the wheel on. And what I will do in one of my videos someday, uh, I will show you guys how to assemble it. Okay? But for today, we're just going to talk about. You know, just the basic, how to manage it and how to prepare it, all right? So managing it, number one thing is the footrest. The footrest is the most important thing on this wheelchair. How to put it on, how to take it off. So normally when you get your footrest like this, you always come over here like this, okay? You see this? It goes out and in. So normally before you put it on, make sure you take it out like that. And then you bring it here. Make sure this tab one and this bottom one this top one goes here, this bottom one goes there. And then, you see that? And make sure you open up this. So you bring this back, make sure it clicks. It clicks. Okay, this back one got clicks in here, all right? And then this other one, the same thing, the same formula, all right? You make sure you bring this out, the up, and the down goes in that hole. And then you see it clicks. And then also to adjust it over here, if you're a very tall person, all right? You can bring this down. Okay, you gotta open up from here first. And then you bring this down, all right? You pull this, and then you bring this down, okay? And then make sure you tighten that up. The same thing over here. You wanna bring this down, you gotta open it up, make this, this one and this one is almost the same height. I'm just gonna bring it down just one inch, okay? Okay, all right. They're gonna click, just make sure. Can you see that? So it clicks. All right, and then you put this back. All right, so that's it with that, that's it for that. And then when you're sitting up in a wheelchair, you know, you sit in a wheelchair, you put your foot here, and you put your foot here. And then to, to prepare yourself, 
I see people holding on to the wheel. Don't hold on to the wheel when you put pregnancy because the wheel is dirty. It's going to flow. So it's a little bit dirty. So make sure you put your hand on the, the part of the wheel that is outside. See this one is made to prepare yourself, to, to, to roll yourself. Alright, so that's the part you're gonna hold on to. Don't, don't hold on to this part. Alright? So you move like this. Alright, you see what I'm doing? I'm moving like that. Alright? I'm rolling myself like that. And then when um, if I want to turn this way, I'm gonna move it like this. Move it like this, and then roll myself. If I want to come back, I go like that. Alright? I want to turn around, I just you see what I'm doing? You want to turn around, this hand, move this way. And this one, pull back. So you go like this. Okay, you want to come this way, this one, push this way, and this hand, pull back. It's just that when you pull it around, you got to go like that. Okay, you go going like that, you go on your right. You go going like this, you go on your left. Okay, you want to go straight, you just roll yourself. Just roll yourself, all right? And you see what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm going to come right over here in the hallway over here. Alright. And, and like that. Okay? Alright. You see what I'm doing? Elena, you can stand right over there and take this. You see what I'm doing? I'm rolling myself like that. Yeah, Superman. <laughs> and then also, guys, um, most people are very, very weak. Most of the time they'll be very, very weak, so I normally advise them to put their feet down on the floor. So you're going to open up this, open up this, and you can also move this out of your way, you move this out of your way. And then what you do is that you use your feet. You use your feet. You see, I'm using my feet to roll myself. I want to go this way, I just turn around. But, you know, more, uh, most of the patients in the, in the skilled nursing facilities, or even the hospital, their legs are very weak, very, very weak. Especially after stroke, you can do anything with your legs. So normally they use your arm and things like that. And you can also use both, all right? You can use both and move, all right? So that's it. And then one important thing I left out is that whenever you want to stand up for a wheelchair, whenever you want to stand up, you make sure you like your wheelchair, okay? Make sure you like it. This is the brick right here, all right? You want to show them the brick right over here. You see the brick? So that's the brick. You make sure you lock it. And then one on this side too. You make sure you lock it. It got to be locked. And then you stand up and then you put your hand over here. Okay? You put your hand over here and then, ah, stand up. You want to sit down. Always. It is very important. You make sure your chair is also locked and the back of your knee is touching. It's touching the wheelchair. The back of your of your uh, uh, knee, you stash the wheelchair, and then you reach back, you reach back, and then you sit down. But again, safety, 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 because I've seen a lot of patients, the wheelchair is, is unlocked like that, okay? It's unlocked like that, and then you try to stand up. When you stand up, you see, they're gone. The wheelchair is going to go away from you, and then you're going to go right down the floor, and you're going to hurt yourself. Your head, your back, whatever it is, you're going to hurt yourself. But you see right over here, I'm going to lock this for a minute. You lock it, you see, this thing is not going to move. It's not going to move because why is it locked? And then you reach back, you sit there. Okay? Always. And now, you want to put your feet back up, you just move this. You see that? And then you put your foot over here. You want to move this, the same thing. And you put your foot over here. You want to move, you got to unlock it. Because if you don't unlock it, if you don't unlock your wheel, it's not going to move. You unlock it. Okay? Then you move. See what I'm doing? You want to come back? Come back. And then one, one important thing I want to show, I want to show you over here, is this. You see this wheelchair? It has a cushion. So there's a cushion. We normally uh, make sure we give our patient cushion like this. Because most of them sit in these wheelchairs for hours, maybe five, six hours. They sit in the wheelchair. They don't stand up. They don't move around. So they need something very soft 
something like this. Very, very, you see this one is very soft. And we have different kinds of cushion. So this is just a regular cushion. We'll make sure we have this in the wheelchair. If we don't have one of these around, we normally order for it. And then also while we are waiting for it to come in, we normally put pillows. Put pillows in the wheelchair so the patient can sit on. All right, just for comfort. Because normally what we have, what we have noticed, patients that normally sit up for too, too long or stay in the bed for too long, they, uh, they develop pressure sore. Okay? Right on, uh, you know, on their body. Just where you know, they develop pressure sore. So we make sure we get one of these. So that, uh, that's it for that. So one thing also, <clears throat> normally when we order for these, we normally make, uh, get the patient size. So these come in inches. So like this one over here should be about 14 inch, 14 inch wheelchair. So this one should be 14. All right. So we got 16, we got 18, we got 20, we got 22. I think all the way up to 24. So this one over here is 22. Okay. This one over here is um, bariatric. So this one is bariatric. It's for fat people or uh, not really fat people who are big, big people. Okay. So this one is for them. It's the same as this one. And then also one thing, you see, these footrests, these footrests, we can always switch them. So this is a regular footrest. And this is the elevated footrest. This one can go on this as well as the other one can go on the other one. So you see that? And this one over here, it can go over here as well. So this one fit all. So these footrests can be used, can be used for, for all sizes. It can be fit, and they can fit on all, it can fit on the regular one over here, it can fit on the uh, bariatric one over here. And this one also it fit right here. Okay, it's in here. You can put this one here and try it. Right there. Yeah. So these elevator foot rests over here, they are for patients that are very tall. Patients that are very, very tall. And then also if the patient has an injury that requires for their foot to be elevated. Okay? Like for example, you have a knee surgery, alright? You don't want your foot to be bent all day long. You know your foot bent all day long. So what you normally do is that you have these and you can raise it up. So you see it's still right there. And then one thing also, just as the other one, you can also uh, lengthen these. Okay? You can also lengthen these right over here. Yeah, right there. Okay? You can lengthen these over here like that. And you can take it down when you get tired, you can take it down as well. Okay? So you see that? And you can bring this one up. You get tired. Down. You take this one down. Alright? You bring it up and you take it down. Easy as that. Alright? So that's it with this. Alright? So you can use this elevator foot rest or you can use the regular foot rest over there. But for me, I normally like this elevator foot rest. Okay? Yeah. I normally like this elevator foot rest. I like this. Because this one where you can adjust it, you can take it up, you can take it down, you know, depending on your comfort and things like that. Alright? So this is a regular feature. This is what we normally give to most of our patients when we come here. So again, for the tall patient like me, if I'm very tall, uh, we have another kind that is extended like that, a little bit higher than this one. This one is you know it's for a very small or uh, small person. It is not for a big person. Alright? So again, this one over here is, is a specialized, specialized wheelchair. And I will uh, explain more about this coming up in my next video. But, but for this one, you see, you can tilt all the way back. And you can bring it forward. But I will explain more about this later on down the road. Uh, hopefully, maybe in my next video, I will explain about this, how to use it, and how we know what to order for these kinds of wheelchair. Okay? Alright guys, I think so far that's it. Um
Thank you so much for subscribing, man. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please don't forget. Subscribe, like the videos, hit that notification bell, and then also comment, man. Comment, comment, comment. All right? You can also send me an email. Uh, send me an email and, and, and just give me a recommendation on how we can improve our videos. But thank you so much. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.